What's good? It's Chagosi. It's Friday, November 16th, 2018. And we're going to look at some very credible propaganda from the federal government. And if you're new here, I'm being serious. If you want very credible news, if you want information that's straight from the Freemasons, from the Jewish bankers, the Catholic Church, the red and black Jesuit order colors again, go to TMZ, find all the rituals inside all their propaganda. And we're going to just look at the headlines here because I noticed a lot of interesting update times. Justin Bieber egging lawsuit settles. You know, on the 16th at 2.57, that's the 55th prime. Sacrifice equals 55, but sacrifice equals 2.57. The 55th prime. Getting the settlement. Justin Bieber, egging lawsuit settled. So we're already seeing some issues with this propaganda software application just the nature of the links and the font it was le at least hard for me to copy the link or the headline to paste it so we're just this is a, a tmz review by the way we're reviewing tmz so far nine out of ten 197 the 45th prime in the headline very interesting how this propaganda about Justin Bieber coming out day with 45 days remaining. Day with 45 numerology, 27. Sun, 54, 27. Saturn, the keeper of time. Time equals 47. 45 is the sum of Saturn's magic square. And this is a Saturnian piece of propaganda because Justin equals 93, 21, 69, 42. Like Saturn. You see what I'm saying? Everything Justin Bieber does is a Saturnian ritual from the federal government. Bieber equals 41, 32, 1, 2, 1, 40. I was doing a little bit of research on this piece earlier. Let me just type in egging and see if that's what it was. Yes, egging 40, just like Bieber. He's egging. This is what I'm saying. Egging 23 to reflection. When you reverse the alphabetical order, reduce each letter to a single digit. And when you don't 40, you see how they have the same numbers inside this propaganda. Egging also equals 113, the 30th number, the 30th prime number. Again, number for Saturn. Justin equals 30, so does Saturn. So Justin Bieber has this ritual going on because of his name, because of his persona. So now you see what I'm saying What when I say that TMZ is a very good source of coded Freemasonic propaganda. Look, we got Floyd Mayweather, this actor right here. We'll see how, many, how long the video length is here. Michael Avenatti calls out Jacob Wall. So I love how Michael Avenatti has been having a lot more propaganda about him, you know, being a domestic abuser and this and that or sexual assault, or whatever he was in. He is an actor. This is theatrical propaganda, and that's why he's always participating in these same rituals. I called it up before they all happened. I didn't say what specifically he'd been, but I said, guys, this guy is just a, an, he's participating in staged theater. This video, 3 minute 31 seconds. That's the 67th prime, but sacrifice 67. I'm sure there's more here. But I just want to stay to what I was going to do. Just show you the main page of TMZ. Just give you my review. I hit, So I give it a 9 out of 10 because the way it's over the topness is, I like how it's clear to read. But, for example, again, like, you know, copying. It might be because I don't have a mouse. Okay, it's not so bad. Okay, I won't take marks from them on that. It's not that, it's not that hard to copy and paste the uh, headline. And they do put TMZ in all their photos. I don't like the watermark. But that's very minor. So, you know, with the 43 comments. Oh, this is the Justin Bieber page. We want to go to TMZ straight up. While it's loading, though, TMZ 
equals 59, like Freemasonry, 13, your very special number, 22, the master builder number, 59 is the 17th prime, Negro 59, 22, they do have a lot of black people on TMZ. So the next piece of propaganda, we have Amanda Knox, I'm engaged, watch my alien proposal. Updated at 223. Two, That's when I published it. 223, two, Masonic 223, two, two, Skull and Bones 322, two, The Reflection. Super engagement to, I don't know, if to an alien or something. I know I didn't read it. I don't know if it's a metaphor or they're just mocking you with more you know, jokes in their propaganda, making you think they're real. Masonic 223, two, The Synagogue of Satan 223. Two, two, this is their propaganda. That's why I give this a really good review. Because my goal is to show the world how they can decode Masonic Zionist propaganda and see how it's all about this numerical code, how it's all mocking their existence. And TMZ is a very good source to see that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, look how many seconds this video is. 112 seconds. Zionist, 112. Unbelievable. Also, 40 like Bieber. I want to see what numbers Amanda Knox has. Remember her? She. They said that she murdered her roommate or something in Italy. Guys, it's a complete play. Either that or, you know, they controlled her mind and made her do it, or they killed her. They killed Meredith Kircher, blamed it on her, just this actress. You know, so many different scenarios, but the truth is that she didn't just kill Meredith Kircher. It wasn't organic, and then the Supreme Court of Kessler, you know, this is all a theatrical stage performance. That's why this murderer, born 7-9, July 9th, 1987, murder equals 79 death equals 97 i didn't even know this that her she was born on this day mac miller dying september 7th do you see this pattern we're gonna get more of that pattern in her birth numerology i'm sure there's plenty more there that and of course the numbers for freemasonry 103 the 27th prime the 27 club sacrifice 27 in chaldean ritual 27 freemason 122 synagogue of satan 190 41 the 13th prime usa 41 with the 13 stripes in the flag she's representing usa in this propaganda see an american woman she was in italy when it was happening i don't i don't know what italy sums to the top of my head i hope it doesn't match this <laughs> 22 32 67 like blood sacrifice you're, you're wondering why i hope it doesn't match you guys i don't like it when it's super strong well, i do because it helps explain it but you know, sometimes it's nice to see, oh, maybe they're trying to do something else. Not some super duper strong mocking. Well, that's what it always is anyway. That's what it always is. So they're saying what? Something about she's marrying an alien. I don't know, I don't know about the alien thing. I don't know if she's being serious as in, in the narrative or what. You could probably read it. You're into this sort of thing. I don't know, but her and Christopher, I don't know. I, I didn't read this again. I'm just trying to show you the numbers. Masonic 29, 209, fire equals 29. This piece of propaganda about this wildfire updated at 209. Lisa Vanderpump. You know, pumping to try to pump out the fire with the water. I don't know what they're saying with that. Fire 29, 209, they update this piece of propaganda. They publish it. See how I'm on CNN, I do the same thing. I'm on TNZ, I do the same thing. Because it's the same exact propaganda from the same exact gang of tyrants. Yep. TMZ, highly rated in my book. If you're trying to decode federal government bullshit propaganda, especially, again, these are the type of people, these are the type of things, the type of font colors 
that control the minds out of the masses. I recognize these people. These are the TMZ hosts. We've seen TMZ shit before. This stuff controls the mind's eyes of all the dumb idiots who just need to be entertained at every second of the, of the hour. So if you can expose this to them, have all buy the numbers shit, and then see how CNN is the same exact way, and Fox News and Reuters and Breitbart, it's all the same exact way. It's very easy to show someone how it's all crap. And you can go from different ends of the spectrum. You know, comparing Breitbart to TMZ, you know, they're supposed to be two completely different things, but they're not. It's the same exact propaganda outlet. Lil Pump, you know, Negro 22, although I think he's, he's more Hispanic, but they like to still pair this number on them, on this culture. I'm not even kidding. They do it all the time. 22 to master build a number. What what the headline say? Tear gas attack during Lil Pump's concert. Guys, this was part of the entire act. These attacks, these things happening at these concerts are part of the show. But people just think they're real, and the federal government just tells them that they're still real. And how did the federal government tell us that they're real? Well, right here. This is the federal government telling us that they're real. This is their propaganda. The One World Order, Zionist Jew Cabal. This is their stuff. Masonic 38, Jewish 38. Death, killing, murder, 38. Cancel, 38. Destroy, 38. 2.38 p.m. You know, nigga, 38. And again, he's, I think he's, I don't know if he's Puerto Rican, Mexican, but again, they're going for that pattern still. They like to put that on. These, this SoundCloud rapper, face tattooed, actor, click. The New World Order, 225. We can get the 93 down here. Propaganda, 93. Saturn, 93. I don't know what Lil Pump sums to. All right, sun numbers. We wrote 13, get 99. Pump 21, 42, like Saturn. That's why at 930. Sun 9, sun 36, and ALW. I kind of want to see his birth numerology and see what they're going. Because that's, that's what you want to do. Just like how starting the day, starting your decodes, you want to look at the, the date numerology. You also want to look at the birth numerology. You saw Atlantic Knox's birth numerology. We saw she was born in 9 slash 7. The birthday is very important. Synced up astrologically, astronomically, spiritually. Like, it's a very important concept. And the Kabbalists love to pay attention to that. So, Gazi Garcia. I've, I've done a little decode on him before, just in my free time. You know, 7GG77. Best known for his 2017 song, Gucci Gang, another 7-7, seven, seven, Judaism 77, Washington, D.C. on the 77th Meridian. Look, another Floridian actor. Look at this, another Floridian puppet inside this federal government propaganda. Death, killing, murder numbers. You know, at 238, they had that post on the propaganda. Florida with that number, 38. That's why Lil Pump's always in this type of propaganda too very well could die early august 17th 2000 these people are born to be or given for fake birthdays <laughs> born date with 36 numerology D didn't i not say we're gonna do his birth numerology and see the connection little pump 36 forwards and backwards <laughs> this actor born on date with 36 numerology 27, 45, 18. These are sun numbers. I just said sun, that was the lesson. Sun nine. That was the first thing I said. The first thing. Because I've also pointed this out. Yes, when you're out 13, get 99. The Bavarian Illuminati found it with 99 numerology. But then also looking at this, the overall pattern. This whole thing reduces to nine in the four base ciphers. You know, even in Jewish, the 399. You know, I like that too. All reduces to nine. And then when you see the 99 with it, they're just trying to say, 9, 9. They're emphasizing the number 9, number for some. So, I said, oh, I want to look at his birth numerology and see if they continue the pattern. And look at his birth numerology. Sun 27, Sun 54, Sun 36, Sun 18. It's perfect. Sun 9, born on the 230th day, 23 is the ninth prime number. <laughs> A son actor. Just like Donald Trump, the attorney actor, this guy is a son actor. 
It's the same thing. And he's gonna I'm sure this guy's gonna die early in some Jesus Christ flavored ritual. I hope Gucci Gang does not sum to these same numbers. You know, again, we need a break from the pattern. <laughs> Unbelievable! Gucci Gang. 171, the 18th triangular number. The sum of numbers 1 through 18, 171. Gucci Gang, 45. <laughs> See? I didn't make any of this shit up. Sun 54, Sun 27, reflection is 72, forwards and backwards, it's 45. I prove it every day I make a video. The Zionist Jews, the Freemasons, the Jesuit order, they run this shit. They run the world of entertainment. Black and red are the colors of the Jesuit order. CNN has these colors, Ryzen has these colors. This is Catholic Church propaganda. They murdered Kim Porter by the numbers. She was 46 when she died, shy of 47. Catholic equals 46. Look at, look at the symbolism he's doing. I mean, this is clearly Illuminati bullshit propaganda. I, I, I cannot believe this. Gucci gang with the sun numbers. Birth numerology with the sun numbers. The propaganda with the sun numbers. Again, sun 93 million miles away at 930. I mean, now I wonder what tear gas sums to you. And I actually want to do this. Tear gas attack during concert. We got some ideas from his birthday it is. And then we'll close up with him. We got to make this video not too long. We got to just finish off with Will Pump. It's such a good finale. And I'll just make another one with more TMZ propaganda. Because there's enough propaganda in TMZ for me to make videos for the next several years at least. So, tear gas. Tear gas, 118, 46, you know, sacrifice, 46, Catholic, 71, 46, the Catholic Church, you know, the sun, that's just as a Catholic Church ritual. Again, the Jesuit Order Society of Jesus with the sun as their logo. Not making this up. Found on the 27th of September, sun 27. That's normally the 270th day of the year. But this leap year, that leap year that was the 271st, the 58th prime, Secret Society 58, Freemasonry 58, they're the Freemasons. This is literally their propaganda. I'm not kidding. These people, this organization, you can read all about them. You know, the Sephardic Jews becoming Catholics, essentially. See? This is their propaganda. They're trying to control your mind with this bullshit. So back to our friend old Gazzy, Gazzy Garcia. I mean, I want to see his, his name sums to you as well. <laughs> Are you seeing this? Gazzy Garcia, 61, the 18th prime number. Sun equals 18. Perfect. 173, the 40th prime. Zionist 40, Zionist Jew propaganda. Society of Jesus equals 56. <laughs> We're literally just looking at him. <laughs> This decoding just gets crazier every time I try to do it. Because it's just the same patterns. You can spot the patterns right away from a fucking light year away. And then you decode it and it's the same thing. Well, Gazzy. 31 the 11th Prime. Federal Government 85. America 50. There's probably more in Gazzy I'm not, I'm not Im immediately seeing. And perfect. Garcia. 39. Reflection of 93, 30, 42. Saturn, 42, 30, 93. At 9, 30, it's a tear gas event. Jesus Christ on the cross from 9 to 3. You know, 93rd day of the year, they say that that's his new birthday or whatever. Again, they said the sun is 93 million miles away. Do you see this pattern? Saturn, the keeper of time. The sun, the keeper of time. Conspiracy, 1, 2, 3. So now we got to see from his birthday to that event. August 17th. The entire world of entertainment is scripted theater. I'm, I've been proving that for the past 20 minutes now. Tear gas attack during concerts since fans scrambling. So, so you paid money to get punked by the federal government. So when was this? Nottingham. This in England? These Nottingham's all around the world. And it could be. 
could also be in America. I don't know where it is, but we can do Nottingham, Gematria. 50, like Gazi, 149, the 35th Prime, Catholic 35, Revelation 149, 49, 121. This is Revelation propaganda. And 59, the same numbers for Revelation, all in this name. Revelation 59, 49, 149, 121. Very special book to the federal government. So we'll just do from the 16th. But wait, it had to be, it, it wasn't on the 16th, it wasn't then though. Friday, there we go. Wait. Oh, he's in, he's in Nottingham, United Kingdom, so it's, of course it's, it's at night then. Of course. So yeah, so today it's fresh propaganda from his birthday to today. See how long they waited for this gas attack. You know, gas, gas, remember? <laughs> this is a continuation from my last video. Gas with the sun numbers. A gas attack. Sun, gas, oil, all the same. You see how they're using that same pattern now in this propaganda? 91 days later. <laughs> Two months, 30 days later. You see this? Two months, 30 days, 23, the ninth prime number. Gas equals nine. <laughs> the gas attack at his concert. This is such an easy piece of propaganda to decode. In 91 days, the sum of numbers 1 through 13 gives you 91. It's also two months, 31. No, no. That would just be three months then. But I was going to say two months, 31 days would be, you know, that's the 22nd or the... 21st triangular number, Saturn 21, which is three months, but a span of 13 weeks in one day, or just exactly 13 weeks. 131, the 32nd prime, Agenda 32, Negro 32, Scars 32. Let's see if we can scoop this up and get it from to his next birthday and find the riddle in there, because they do it from both the past and the upcoming. So it's the same. It's 91, nine months, one day, a span of 92. 39 weeks in one day. The reflection of that is 193, the 44th prime. And again, today we had the gas attack on a date with 45 days remaining, 27 numerology, 45 numerology, sun numbers, the sun, gas numbers, all today. See? Perfect pattern. It matches every time. It's a gas attack. In the United Kingdom, UK equals 32. This is... It was, a 13, it was 13 weeks and one day from his past birthday. It was his 18th birthday. He was born in 2000. Gas, gas 18. You see that? The guy's 18 years old. 18 years old, actor, in a gas attack when he's 18. Son, 18. <laughs> Oil 18, we just had a natural gas play, a big pump and dump put on by the same exact gang by these same numbers. And now we have the same pattern with Lil Pump, who has the same numbers for sun, for gas, for oil in his name too. It's just perfect. Oh, he's, he's, Colum he's Colombian. So that's what he is, he's Colombian. You know, Christopher Columbus, Columbus, Ohio, Columbia. This is all named after the Zionist Jew banker tyrant. District of Columbia. Columbia, 47, like time. <laughs> just a lot of sums to 47. Does that should show you everything? Freemason's compass set at 47 degrees. Their most special number. Foundation, 47. The District of Columbia is just DC. DC, 47. Although they, although they spell it Columbia, it will give you the American number, Master 76, but I, I think this is probably one of the best videos I've ever done. And that's what shows it shows you guys. It's not, it's not about my decoding. It's about the propaganda and what they put in our face. I mean, this example is just incredible. And <laughs> everything is something the same thing. I mean, they're just doing this all the time. You cannot deny it. He's performing at Rock City. Let's just keep this shit going. Though. I mean, there's a little bit more details here. 
Rock City, 112, like Zionist, 49, like Revelation, Circle, 112, Mathematics, 112, 41, the 13th Prime, 13 weeks from his birthday, see? Or 91 days, the sum of numbers 1 through 13, 91. From his past and upcoming birthday, we got that 9 and 1 sequence. You know what I mean? 91 connected to 13 at Rock City. You know, Rock 47, 61, the 18th prime. Again, Sun 18. A little Pump 36. So, again, I said in the ALW Kabbalah Cypher, I just want to put it in people's uh, field of vision. That Sun, Sun C36. Rock Sun C41 in ALW Kabbalah. And then I wanted to do Nottingham United Kingdom. It's the full name. Illuminati 120, 343. And this Saturnian cipher, ALW Kabbalah, this Linux Saturnian cipher. You get the Cube of Saturn in it. Saturn, the Keeper of Time. Sun, the Keeper of Time. That 114 is interesting, too. Natural gas equals 114. But I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna just pair that. But who knows, you know? Already paralleled. So, it's not performing on this tour bus. This is at 447. Again, time 47, foundation 47, Columbia 47. Very special members to Freemasons. Once outside, Pump hopped and tore on top of his tour bus and performed I Love It, his song with Kanye West for his fans who seemed unfazed by what just went down minutes before because it was probably just some drill, something that wasn't even anything. It was just a little show. It was part, they, they probably thought it was part of the show, which it was. I Love It, 97, the 25th Prime, 38, 114, and LW, just talking about that. Let's look at the four bass ciphers. You know, Florida 38, 43. I want to see how many days Kanye West's birthday is from today. And we can see how many days they're born apart. Because that's important too. Not not fully, but just their birthdays. We can start with that. So June 8th. So Kanye West born June 8th. Lil Pump born August 9th, August 17th. We'll do that in 2018. Both the same year. Two months, nine days apart, exactly 10 weeks apart. Route 10, you get Saturnian numbers. You know, Saturn, 42, 39, 21. This is also span of two months, 10 days. It's span of 71 days, time 20, 71 to 20th prime. Black 29, Sonic 29. So we'll do June 8th to today. Because Kanye West is, you know, part of this whole thing. Five months, eight days. Freemason, <laughs> 23 weeks. So Freemasonry equals 58. Remember, we got, what was it, two months and 30 days or something from Lil Pump's birthday, and it's 23 weeks from Kanye. So we get 23 from both of their birthdays to this propaganda event. This gas attack. Gas, 9. 23 to 9th Prime. 23 weeks from Kanye West's birthday. He's now being a participant in this propaganda. And of course, you know, Negro 59. This Negro in this propaganda. Span of 5 months, 9 days from his birthday. You know, Black Man 21. 231, the 21st Triangular Number. And again, Freemasonry 5859, Phoenician 5859. This is Phoenician propaganda. They've never left. They've always been here controlling trade, controlling government, controlling entertainment. Zionist Jews all intertwined. That's essentially who they are. All the same gang. The Freemasons putting out this propaganda. So again, trying to keep these videos shorter, but there's just so much overloaded information. Instead of sitting here for another 30 minutes talking about more propaganda. You just see right here, three actors. I mean, literally. Arnold Schwarzenegger is no more of an actor than the other two. 
Reagan. I don't want to say it's Jesse Ventura, but whoever that is, they're all actors. I want to talk about this. Jack Fields Jr. killed after allegedly stabbing an officer. His name is Jack Fields. You know, the nigger in the fields. That's what they're going for. More racist propaganda. And then at 158, it's updated. Freemasonry 158. I saw that earlier, too, so I'm glad I called that out. So we're going to close it out here. TMZ, 10 out of 10. Even though we got... Fetty Wap and <laughs> 1059, Negro 59, Scottish Rite 159. He's an actor for the Scottish Rite Freemasons. Black Man 159, the Black Man in the 1059 video. Fetty 22. I knew it. As all the time, I was, I was like, let me see what his name sums to you. We'll get the pattern. Fetty Wap. First off, Fetty 59. 22, 76, 23. Negro WAP. That's what they're saying. Negro. Look. 59, 32 to reflection of 23. 22, 76. See? Fetty, Negro, same numbers. Negro WAP. That's what they're fucking saying. Racist propaganda coded in all their black actors. Fetty WAP, 116, like African American. Who's the first African-American president? Barack Hussein Obama. 116. He is an actor for the federal government. Barack Hussein Obama, 64, like civil rights. The Civil Rights Act of 1964. 161, the reshuffling of 116. Elected the 44th president. 44 years from the Civil Rights Act of 1964. But he wasn't really elected. He's just installed by the federal government, Freemasons. So there you have it. Like a great one to end this. This is why I should stop scrolling down. This is not Fetty 59. Here's Fetty in the fifth one. Well, I, I knew they were going to do that. We we'll, might as well see the video length at this point. Huh. Make Sonic 115, Killing 115. You know, I'm sure you can keep it up with also a 65 second video. No, excuse me. 75 second video. New World Order 75. This is New World Order propaganda. All the Takashi stuff. Yeah, he was in more propaganda today. Just go on TMZ, search Takashi 69, you know, Saturn 69. Every single day, a piece of propaganda about him. And they get these other actors to talk about it. See? Shaming. See, that's a good message. So, uh, TMZ might even give me some kind of copyright strike for that, but let's, so let's not test it. But I was, didn't even mean to click on that like that. But you see, divisive propaganda. Here's Fed up saying, I mean, it doesn't really fucking matter, but it's just more divide and conquer, you know, creating some stupid narrative, distracting people. I mean, it's none of the shit matters. Meanwhile, they're, you know, crafting the next war, the next false flag, the next displacement of poor people project. You know, the next molestation of the land of the people. And here they're showing you this bullshit scripted propaganda.